Um, let's get started with some rice. That'll be the appropriate way of doing this. Little my ba, ba papa. You always want to be part of this. You can sit in the chair, or, or if you if you if you if you're not pleased with that, well, we can ask mom to come play with you. But you just got fed. Will be good. I think it will be good. Um, so the way we're gonna go about this today, I'm just gonna boil some rice. You could definitely use rice that you made the day before and then had in the fridge. It would save you heaps of time doing this. This will work too. Oh, don't wait. Gonna let that right soak for a bit. In the meantime, we can chop some veggies. So in the past I've been convenient like using hot sauces or like sweet chili sauces, but we are gonna make our own today. We are, which is gonna be a fun experiment. Um, so let me bring out some ingredients. Mixen.
So we have a son. He's a year old, almost a year old. And he takes uh, bottles from the cupboards and hides them. I'm looking for rice vinegar. Can't find it. Oh wait. Never mind. I accused him for nothing. Cool. Sir made more coffee so we can get a cup of cooking coffee. Cheers, guys. We are rinsing the, the rice pudding in some fresh water, letting it soak a little bit longer. Now that's suboptimal. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> What do you mean with cooking rice like pasta? 
this this rice um, becomes great with the 12 minutes but all rice are different depending on how it's treated and stuff I feel I feel at least um, we got one variety of rice a few batches why can't i move oh wait move now i can move it cool um that was super tasty with only 10 minutes of cook time which is quite convenient plus it was already pre-rinsed oh, i've never found that brand since unfortunately but this rice takes uh, 20 25 minutes to make isn't the end of the world Ah, lots of water pouring the excess. Hmm. I think the more water you have, the easier it is to cook. And just finding the perfect time. The idea with having less water is using less energy. Because what you really want is the rice to soak up all the liquid that is in the pot. And for it to be left completely dry afterwards. To make the perfect rice. It uses less water, less heat. Uh, and therefore it's, it's very nice but it's also very finicky and it takes time to learn with with like your stove setup what's the perfect time and and so forth and the perfect amount of water i mean the recipes are always wrong for rice i think so i'm just gonna have this on on high heat until it starts boiling Stir it a few times, bring it down, set a timer, and then the rice is, is cooking on its own. Um, but if you would ask me to make twice as much rice, I would fail every time. And what I mean with that is, I have learned like the exact amount of water and the exact amount of time for this pot. Have a different pot. And the heating surface is different. And the amount of water that would evaporate with the same settings would be different. I mean, ballpark we would probably manage, but it wouldn't be the same. Hi, Stone Man. I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. I had the longest nap with Ebba. We napped from 10 to like noon, I think. Two hours of napping. That was great. That was absolutely great. So, um, my stove is a bit, a bit full at the moment. Thank you for the bits, Stone Man. What do I do to deserve such treats? Huh? <laughs> nice one, Doya. <laughs> Fire. Thank you for staying sub to this, this channel that produces content once every blue moon. Right, you get to hang out in the kitchen, get to cook, 
get to become hungry. So I'm gonna get started with uh, preheating a pan here. That we're gonna throw in some carrots in straight away because they need a lot of time. No alerts. Yeah, that's true. So now I'm streaming from the phone because setups is the bane of my streaming. If I have to start up a setup and click 10,000 buttons, more often than not, it's, it doesn't get done. Stream doesn't happen. So I'm thinking, well, if I can make it easier for me to go live by just using the phone, will that make me stream more? And will it make my content that much worse? Not having alerts, graphics, pause scenes, etc, etc. I couldn't, couldn't say, but I want to try it. I know it's not the Twitch way. I mean, on Twitch you're supposed to have alerts. You're supposed to have overlays. But who tells me what I'm supposed to do and not? Only me. So if I want to try this, I can try this. You too, though, yeah. <laughs> um. Just put it nice, so. so my my son is just chilling here, looking, making sure I cook good food. No cheating when he's around. He's the boss.
you want to turn on the oven? We don't need the oven to cook this. It's okay. Hi, Dumpe. He's a year old, and he loves to to reach for things. So I might as well give him the fork. There's no food on it though, but you can have it. So half a football team you got there. I look forward to having more kids. Um, but so far, I'm I'm quite happy with one. He's uh, it's that's the good part about getting them one at a time that you have time to to learn how to how to be a good dad, how to manage life with all the added musts and needs and lack of time has been the hardest thing to accept. I think. Accepting that you come second it was quite a, a difficult thing. <laughs> Use condom. Do you feel like you have too many? <laughs> you done with that? Sure. You want to put it back? Okay. Hi, down sweet. I'm going to move you away so you don't take it, okay? <laughs> I mean, isn't that every parent I've ever heard of? I love my kids, but they're for sale sometimes. <laughs> At least I feel like that's a common thing. Don't you just love the sound of oil in a skillet? Murdering some carrots. Mm. Epic. See you soon,
these aren't chilies. <laughs> these are um, these are sweet peppers. <laughs> if they were chilies, they would be huge. We got chilies here. The <laughs> Hi, Oryx Pain. Thank you for supporting the channel. You know, a sub means that me streaming was not for nothing. And it means I should continue doing it. So thank you for the pat on the back and, and the support. So Oryx Pain, for those who didn't know, he's a bit of a chef himself. But I don't think you work with it, right? It's just a hobby of yours. Cooking good food. Serving the family some, some proper food. These sweet peppers were on sale for a dollar a pack. Which is like third of the normal price. Yeah, yeah, 50 crowns per kilo, 50 Swedish crowns per kilo, and normal is around, well, it depends, really. Maybe it's not a third of the price, because sometimes it's, it's 80 crowns per kilos, so that's only, like, one third off, but still, still cheap. <laughs> Not laughing at them, I'm laughing at the memories of me as a teenager just loving that shit. I moved away from home when I was 16 uh, for school because it was too far to ride every day. Um, and I mean, I didn't have a lot of money, so I I ate cheap food and, and Gorbis Brogi, like pre made pirogs. They are super cheap. Maybe not per nutritional value, precisely. But the perceived price is very cheap. And today I see it as candy. Lazy candy. I mean, I wouldn't say no to one, right? But I know I shouldn't eat it. So if I do, it's, it's sort of like a Saturday treat. To eat something that is cheap. But maybe not the best for us. Yeah, or explain. Finding deals on food is like getting toys on Christmas. Let's make these a little small. Definitely a cheat meal. <laughs> Oh yeah, surfer. This this food proportion is still cheaper than pirogi when when it's done. Or at least close. I mean we're using some some more pricey vegetables and, and spices like like chilies in Sweden are not that cheap to be honest. But you could cook it with like chili powder and chili flakes and it would be way cheaper and almost as tasty. So I have a backseat chef in the kitchen Look being negative. The, Can I ban her? Look at the kilo prices next time you're in the store. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> So 
So you mean like per gram of dried spice versus gram of fresh produce? No, even if like even comparing with all the water, wait, out of it, the fresh ones aren't that expensive. Like three, four dollars for what? What? No. What are you talking about? The price. Huh? One, one, one chili, one red chili or green chili is, is usually two crowns. I have not seen them for two crowns. Oh, in the bags they're really expensive. But you, when you buy them per piece, at like Willis or or five maxi. crowns is what you can maxi charge for them at, per piece when they're in season. We'll wait with these because I'm gonna chop some garlic. And when I say some, a lot of garlic. You always buy new plastic bags? I almost want to kick you in the nuts, dude. So the way we do it is we have IKEA bags, those big blue bags. And if you're a single dude, you can have the smaller size. And, um, and you just have them in the car. Because you mean, don't you always drive your car when you go grocery shopping? Maybe you walk, I don't know. But if you walk, you walk from home probably, so you can have them in the hall. Um, in the beginning, we always forgot them. But after a while, you kind of get into it. Siri, uh -huh. could you play with our child? He seems not interested in, in looking at me cooking no more. You want to do a look at daddy cook? Mm. Or, or you want to taste things. Do you want to do you wanna taste <gasps> the pepper, paprika? Mmm. Taste some raw broccoli. Taste it. Oh, broccoli. Floor onion. You want to steal our broccoli? Go ahead. We have more. <laughs> I'll share. tip if you have garlic that have started to sprout some green stuff in the middle is to take it out it causes light heartburn it's not the end of the world to keep it in but it's worth fiddling a bit to get it out I enjoy using the heel of the knife like this to scoop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bucket food. So we live on the countryside and we have our own compost. So 
instead of using like compost bags or stuff, something like that, we use a five liter bucket. 10 liters, I think. Yeah, perhaps 10. You, I think you're right. Do you want to come down? Do you want another piece of food in your mouth? Wake up, boy. You want to come down? Could you please? Yeah. Thank you. Do you do you hate pancakes? Do you hate making them or eating them? Because if you hate eating pancakes, you're the first I've ever heard who hates eating pancakes. Making them, I guess. Though I don't know if waffles is all that much easier. The trick I find to making a good compost is to care for what you put in it. So put in like a lot of cardboard or um, cardboard or at least paper. Like if you use kitchen towel paper, kitchen paper towels, always toss those in the compost. Um, egg cartons, always toss those in the compost. Could you? And if you want to hear the logic behind uh, putting cardboard and paper in the compost, cardboard, bell pup, stuff like that is tree. Tree is biological mass. Uh, it's um, it helps create a good balance in the compost so the things that eat the food doesn't just eat food it makes it less soggy um, creates a nicer soil it's very fast to break down compared to putting in like sticks and leaves sticks and leaves can take a long time to decompose leaves can take two years to decompose and become soil but velpup takes only a few months which is perfect because food only takes about six months so it's it's like it's ready at the same time, so to say. I think we are ready to add some more ingredients. The rice is ready in three minutes, and this is uh, this is going in the pan. But the rice is gonna cool down a bit before we we make everything, so it's no rush really. We're gonna start with the paprika. So unfortunately, the order is a little bit. Order on the cutting board is a little bit wrong. That's okay. Hello. Hey. 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 Siri, did you know that uh, Global, who makes these cutting boards, have made uh, like twice the size? You told me, yes. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. Can I have it for Christmas? Mm -hmm. It's uh, 60 bucks. So it's a little we'll bit too pricey to just splurge. We'll, we'll put it on the Johannes wish list. No. <laughs> no. I mean, this cutting board is fun. It's small, but it works. And I'm not going to stir it. I'm just gonna let the moisture leave the peppers from the heat below for a few minutes. Then the then the stuff. But now we just leave it. Mm -hmm. 
I want to start a second pot. So we're going to clear some space here. The rice is finished. Sweet. Because I'm going to start making a spicy hot sauce. And that takes a little bit. I was thinking that I would add it to the same pan as I already have, but then I can't experiment with flavor as well because it will all be blended together. And I kind of want to experience uh, making the hot sauce by itself since it's the first time that I'm making this type of hot sauce that I'm planning to make. You know what? Because we're running out of space on the cutting board, I'm moving the broccoli to the strainer. Come on. Are you finding anything fun at that? <coughs> and we'll make we'll grab some more coffee. <coughs> Cheers. Eric, have a good time. Um, and the VOD will be up and eventually it will be put on YouTube as well. So um, if you feel like you want to catch up later, you can. Content will be available, so to say.
Did you unfollow by mistake sometime? Or did you sub way before you followed? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps you just assumed you were following. Hi, El. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're ready to make some spicy hot sauce for this stir fry. Chat, are you ready? Come on. Rinse my hands a bit. And we're also gonna add the onion. Cheers, guys. Only four years though. Honestly, four years feels like forever. And it doesn't feel like we've known each other that long. So time is just flying, I feel. Before we know it, Ebbe will be four years, you know? He'll talk back to us. He'll, uh, he'll make us laugh. He'll be his own individual. I can only speak for my... Um, what's it called? What, what is... Um, Aveline, to me. Niece. niece. Yeah. My niece, who, uh, who's four. She's like a human. A real one, you know? <laughs> you know, Doyan, it's sometimes more interesting ordering Burger of the Month not knowing what Burger of the Month is, just trusting that Burger of the Month is good. I, I, I appreciate that. We can chop uh, the broccoli while we wait. Because this needs some heat first before we can do anything else with it. 
Which part of the leg? All of it. Yeah? It's really hard. The thigh especially. Yeah. Like front or back? Inside, front, back, all of it. Oh. Shall I film you? No, please don't. I'm not very comfortable at the moment. <laughs> it's really hard. Mm. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I probably should search for some tutorials. Mm. A garlic patch. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. Oh my god. But in a good way, no? Yeah, in a, oh my gosh, that is so stupid. Like it feels like there's a marble in there. Yeah. A marble of pain. So what we're doing now is we're adding oh, pineapple juice. <coughs> Tip, don't breathe in the fumes. It's chilly after all. be a deciliter of sugar in it before we're done. Huh? It's gonna be a deciliter of sugar in it before we're done. Really? Uh, it's be sweet and spicy. Sweet, sweet, is that what's in hot sauce? Um, sweet chili sauce is like 70% sugar. Yeah, I know, but hot sauce, like a no. sambal oil. No. no, that's just chili. Sambal is 100 percent sugar. I think Max makes some great burgers. I'm on the fence. Like, is Max or McDonald's better? Mm. Don't know. Both have their qualities. Max wins for me. Yeah. I mean, they're a mommy burger. They're a mommy burger. Yeah, but I mean... Their fries. Very nice. Their fries are nice. Mm. More pineapple. But the Donald's uh, vegan burger is nice. It is very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screaming. So 
having a fight with himself. Is that why you're screaming? I don't know. No, no poop. Just scream. No poop, only screaming. Now we have to hurry up for the broccoli because it's getting ready to toss in. Oh, that was the wrong way. Sometimes I get a bit confused when I cut broccoli, forgetting my method of getting the desired pieces. about it then. Let's toss it in. Half an hour, an hour maybe. And then perhaps. Sometimes I'm wrong. Hi, Yusuf. You're getting, getting in here just in time for food. This is going to be interesting to taste. It's going to be super hot though. Both spicy and warm.
Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. You know, you know one of these like a can like this, but with sweet chili sauce in it. It tastes 80% like that. But with a caramely candy undertone from the muscovado sugar. This is dark muscovado sugar. Um, it has like a caramel slash licorice taste to it and it's whew, such a thing. Such a thing. It's honestly too tasty. Like it shouldn't be allowed to be called food. Mm. That's bad. Some pineapple chunks as well. I want these to be inconsistent in size, so they're a bit organic. We could have added these in the big pot just as well as the small because this is finished it's great it doesn't need anything it's just chilies garlic a bit of oil and, and um, salt sugar uh, but this needs some more heat so i added it here because this has a lot of heat and it's finished and and uh, the pineapple doesn't need to be cooked, it just needs to come up to temperature. Yeah, that's so true. Surfer. I think if we get into the psychology about why that happens, I think one, it can be a marketing scam, like trying to get customers in with the intent of raising prices, like every tech startup ever, sort of like Uber being cheap to, to, to blow off, um, to, to make it hard for competitors, right? And then when the competitors go bust, they re raise the prices and start making money. I don't think the food industry works that way. But yes, they are, might be cheaper starting out. Though I think the small places, that it's more likely that the owner is super enthusiastic in the beginning. And as customer starts to fade after the initial launch, they realize they need more money to pay the bills. So they increase the prices. But Money is never a good incentive to make things better. Very few categories of business do you get better service for more money. It's all about the inspiration and enthusiasm of the chefs in this case, or the owners. And if you struggle as a business, everything just sucks so much. As a streamer, if you're successful, it's the best job ever. If you're unsuccessful and you're supposed to be equally happy, produce equally good content, whilst you know that you might be homeless if you keep doing this, right? It's very hard to be a good streamer in that scenario. And the same as a chef or a business owner. If your business is failing, it's very hard to be inspired to do good things. It's 
so um, the food gets worse and worse, the prices goes up and up, and, and that's a recipe for disaster, of course. I think as a business owner, having a full restaurant is much more rewarding than having a few customers paying a lot. So what really makes you motivated to keep pushing is business being good, blooming, full of life and customers. You not needing to charge double the prices to survive. I think that's what a restaurant needs. And I think that's why restaurants foreclose so often. And then a new owner comes in with new inspiration and energy and they last for two years. So then, then there's a new owner. That cycle starts over and over and over and over again. We keep it really interesting for the customers. Like there's always new menus, new places, new things to try. But yeah, it's, un it's very unfortunate. Oh yeah, you wish you would leave Sevilla learn his own thing. <laughs> uh, a bit freer menu and choices. I get that. But maybe it was his first business and he wanted to feel safe and started a franchise instead of a standalone burger place or whatever. I get that. I can get behind not wanting to take risks. how the broccoli is. A little hard still. Thinking of things we can do in the meantime, I put away all the dishes. Drink some more coffee. Oh, I can um, store the leftover pineapple. Or should we have more pineapple? I mean, it's quite a lot of food. So maybe, cheers. Maybe we can get away with having a full can of pineapple, to be honest. Just clean the cutting board as well. Well, it's okay.
love that sear. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, let's add some liquids to this to get an even more flavorful finish this. Careful with the soy sauce. I put quite a lot of salt in. In the um, spice. Spicy stuff. To try for final seasoning when we put the rice in and see if there needs to be more salt. But I'll be careful in this stage. Add chili sauce. And now since there's so much sugar in this, it's important to lower the heat quite quickly. Or you'll you'll have burning sugar. Uh, like smoking point of things is, is is really tricky it takes experience to to get good at I feel I used to burn things all the time uh, I also used to cook a lot with with butter instead of oil but you're not realizing that it's not always desirable like making a stir fry with butter mm, tasty with the butter you think but it just is it's not worth it it just burns too easy and it's sort of too fatty for stir fry. I feel like a stir fry is best when it's oily, sure, um, but spicy and sweet rather than creamy. Goes better with a with a pasta, for example. Like if you replace everything that's spicy here with maybe some cheese and some cream, heavy cream, it would be a great pasta dish, you know. But if you're gonna do a um, sweet and spicy, I feel like butter does not belong. Cheers. Oh yeah, it would be it would be super good in a tortilla as well. Like this could be used for so many things. Hiding on you. Kraft cook. It's it's crawfish season, yeah, that's true. Mm. Hi Waluigi. Waluigi, didn't you follow my stream? Shame on you. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome.
Well then, Goniel, how are you gonna make crawfish without the dark beer? Oh. Holidays are cancelled. Throw the crawfish back in the sea. It's all ruined. Do you fish them yourself or do you buy them? When I grew up, we had a pond um, with crawfish in it. Oh, she's gonna fix it? Sweet. Nothing worse than when you're really excited about making something a little bit fancy, like crawfish, and not having the ingredients to complete your recipe. That really, really is unfortunate. So, let's taste the broccoli. The broccoli is really the only thing that has to be decently cooked. Oh, that's great. Great. I'll just tip in the rice and call it a day, right? So if anyone is curious about the recipe for this, you can watch back the vlog to sort of get an idea on how I made it. And I can, I can write up a recipe list on my Discord together with a video. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna archive and, and share these for the future my little cooking experiments uh, but I have the idea that I'll, I'll start building a portfolio of, of dishes for ourselves um, because so often I make things that turn out nice but I never remember <laughs> what I made and what I put in it so sort of making a, a cookbook or a draft of a cookbook for myself but to share it with you guys um, that is that is my idea and it's gonna be super casual to begin with but if more people are interested and like want a serious cookbook with with like step-by-step -step instructions instead of watching a an hour and a half video you know um, we can we can make that Uh, the videos I'm gonna upload to YouTube and then share the YouTube link, Surfer. No. That's how that's gonna happen. Um, or at least that's the plan. But I mean, for for the future, I'd be really into making a more organized cookbook with some pictures, you know? You like it, Mel? Makes me glad. Siri? I'm plating. I 
was almost a bit sad there, because I thought we were out of white sesame seeds. <laughs> we weren't. No worries. Oh, it's freaking out. It's okay. It's okay. I'll save it. So I have the gimbal set up a little bit weird, so it doesn't really work. Um, it doesn't work too well. Because of how the charge port is on the phone. <laughs> So you see the gimbal frame now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll eat in um, in peace by ourselves. We don't get a lot of time as a family, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll end the stream here. Thank you for watching. I'll post the video and the ingredients list on Discord. Uh, exclamation mark Discord if you're curious. Have a good day. Take care.